there's a chill in the air and I'm actually enjoying it. So behind me the sun's about to rise. I'm here before the sun rise. In the morning we shall remember them, right? We shall remember them. So I warned you, Albo, that your policy actions would create a destabilization in this country and I stated yesterday that there would be another stabbing and Mari Mari, a bishop in an Orthodox church in Sydney, was stabbed in the face. And Albanese, that's your fault. That's your fault. Anthony Albanese has immigrated over 600,000 people into this country in the last 12 months while you're going homeless while tent cities are growing across the country. We mentioned a concert that wanted to take the grounds away from those in a tent city in Queensland so they could have a dance at the expense of all the homelessness that's going on in this country. And that's not only Alf, uh, Anthony Albanese Anthony's under the thumb of some international monetary powers that don't give a crap about Australians. They'd like to push Australians out and make them own nothing because of the Commonwealth that they've undermined and destabilised. It's an indissoluble federal Commonwealth that was under an Australian imperial crown since 1926, since 1926, you can see here that Queen Elizabeth II was crowned under that crown and held the great seal of the Commonwealth of Australia under that crown. You can see that George VI, George V and Edward VII all held the same seal until 1973 when this government was undermined and infiltrated by foreign powers. Foreign powers after the demise of your currency. And it's up to you now to realise what they are, what they've done, and what they're doing to you now as they push you out of your homes and demoralise you into homelessness and poverty. This is a direct action by Albanese. This is a direct action by the Federal Executive Council and the Prime Minister's office. If you think you can vote this out, you do not understand what the Constitution is and how the executive branches of government are not the Parliament. Not the Parliament. The referendum came out of the executive branches of government and was not voted for by any parliamentary member. It came directly out of the Federal Executive Council and the Prime Minister's office through the executive branch of government at which they are under letters patent to foreign powers. This means that the new woke Governor-General that has sided with the voice is seeking to undermine you directly, directly. And this is Anthony Albanese's choice put before foreign powers that have committed heinous international war crimes, real stuff, war crimes on your soil, on this Australian soil. And in the morning, you will remember, you should remember, because if you don't remember, you can't bring it back. It's gone. It's lost forever. This is a very stark reality for all of you as we step forward into 2024-25. Agenda 2030 is very real, and this is where Anthony Albanese is following the bidding of foreign executive branch powers instead of you, the people. Since 1966, they have never listened to you. You are in the demise of a currency, and that currency is finally collapsing. Therefore, the Reserve Bank is literally expanding one to one to two to one to a hundred to one on your dollar. 
And this is why I said yesterday that gold was going up in value. Gold has gone up over a thousand dollars in value in the last two months alone. You are not looking at the reality of a cashless and digitized society by a bunch of foreign occupying powers that treat you as prisoners in your own land. Digital ID is your new prison identification, prison identification under the Hague Conventions. Go and look at the Geneva Conventions on the treatment of prisoners at war. This is what you all are wards of the state prisoners to a not technically a war a war against finance a war against finance where they have undermined your very country your very dollar and the now the very land underneath your feet they threatened you that you would own nothing they threatened you they directly threatened you that you would own nothing and you are watching that threat take place. Anthony Albanese is in treachery to the Commonwealth of Australia by directly acting on behalf of foreign powers that threatened you that you would own nothing. And housing and poverty and work and all these things that were taken away from you when they locked you down in your own homes like prison cells doesn't strike a reality to you now doesn't sink in doesn't hit home in the morning we did remember them in the morning we did realize that anthony albanese worked for a foreign crown a foreign god Anthony Albanese went whoring after other gods in our land and inside the Federal Executive Council appointed a woke Governor General that sides with the voice. Now you all voted no to a referendum and they haven't stopped. That in itself should demonstrate the treachery that's going on among multiple representatives and senators in the Houses of Parliament when you voted no to something and they do not give up on trying to install it. They still continue to undermine the Commonwealth. They still continue to rename things into Aboriginal titles and they still continue to undermine those Aboriginals with mining contracts and so forth. This is not about your freedom. This is about Anthony Albanese working on behalf of monetary powers to continue manipulating the land underneath your feet. Even at the end of a bankruptcy or insolvency, we are an indissoluble federal commonwealth under an Australian imperial crown after Imperial Conferences 1926. We are not the crown of England. We are not in line of authority to Charles III. Charles III is your nanny. He is the nanny state that the Federal Executive Council manipulates and controls your country with on behalf of Jewish bankers, namely the Rothschilds and the Pope through a Roman Catholic Church manipulating the realm. So you have a double problem in that the Pope called in all movable property, meaning that at war he went home and demanded that all his assets be brought home with him. And in that, an administrative function, i.e. the bank, lost its power to administer. And that is why Israel is currently in the shit. This is why Iran is now attacking Israel because it realizes it doesn't have the foundational support of the United States. Now, Biden is a devout Catholic working on behalf of whom? Who said one thing very clear. We have to destroy America to fix it. We have to destroy it to fix it. Is that what Elbo is doing? destroying your Australia so that WEF partners 
can fix it in a realm managed by the Pope. You need a realm underneath all things, and that is what the Stone of Remembrance is in the Shrine of Remembrance. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends, is what's written on the stone. John 15, 13, if I remember correctly. Why would a man lay down his life? May it be because he defended something in God, in your forefathers, in the lineage of your estate, wherein the Bible said very clearly, only in the lineage of your fathers. What if elbow is not working in the lineage of your fathers, easily demonstrated in the last video? You have to realize that they have put you into a demise financially under the Currency Act 1965. And all of this cashless hoo-ha and wanting to use reserve bank currency is demonstrating your very ignorance in what the currency actually is. In the morning, you will remember them. In the morning, you'll pick up that silver again and start trading that silver between each other. You'll use that as your currency and you will give up the mindset of what cash is of what cash is. Cash is a reserve bank note given to you by foreign monetary powers linked to the International Monetary Fund and the Reserve Bank of Australia created under the Reserve Bank of Australia Act 1959, just before the demise of that currency, the demise of that currency. If you want to fix this, you have to return back to currency and stop thinking about cash. Stop thinking about cash. Cash is your problem. The Reserve Bank is your problem. You have to consider what they did to you in the past to fix it in the future instead of walking around like ignorant little children all the time. This is easily demonstrated by the way you attempt to stand up in these courtrooms and blame judges and all these things for the demise of your very country might be because you've relied on a reserve bank and it might be because people like Anthony Albanese have sought to undermine you further with foreign currency interests in, in cahoots with medical corporate interests that have committed heinous international offences on your own soil. Now, your own laws say that people in this position can't sit in office, but the Australian Federal Police won't stand up and arrest these people for their technical and international war crimes that they themselves have technically committed. Now, these are detailed in the Criminal Code, Volume 2, a federal document at which the Australian Federal Police are obligated to uphold, but fail very miserably to do so fail very miserably to do so. It is a wonder why there are politicians galore that get away with what they do when it is actually against not only international law but their own criminal codes. And we look at human trafficking and we look at apartheid. Apartheid is a very big thing in the international world in that it is not on. Yet we have Australians divided into segregated communities called Aboriginal communities. Aboriginal communities. They're not treated as sovereign peoples, are they? They're treated as missions by missionaries. Aboriginal missions. I wonder why. You don't think about anything, do you, as Australians? You don't realise what is actually going on on a world stage that's entering into World War III as you fail to defend anything that you are. Fail to defend anything that you are. We'll go through some images and demonstrate to you very clearly that you are an Australian Imperial Crown so defined on your great seal of the Commonwealth of Australia until 1973, 
when it was smashed in half and replaced with a foreign great seal, the great seal of Australia, as the Queen of Australia, losing her crown, losing her realm, losing the ability to stand in defence of this land. It was very clear when the Queen stated 1957 that she had no ability to take you into battle anymore. It's very clear by 1975 that the Royal Australian Military Force lost its royalty and was turned into the Australian Defence Force, unable to declare any war or enter into any battles on its own behalf. We look at a loss of military power when the government admits that it's got less than a week's ammunition to be able to fight any war. It hasn't got the ammunition to give soldiers to go and defend this country and therefore are a failed defence force. And that's because they are no longer royal. Now, the Royal Australian Regiment should be very concerned about the loss of this royalty and the change of this oath to a flag and government instead of to a crown and kingdom. Crown and kingdom. The Imperial Crown of Australia and the United Kingdom of Australia, so defined in Imperial Conferences 1926, severing the ability for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland or Northern Ireland to legislate or govern over you. This was defined in the Statute of Westminster 1931. It's time for you to all realise that Anthony Albanese in the executive branches of government has directly attempted to undermine your country with a referendum and has not stopped post that referendum where you all voted no. This is very evident when many politicians throughout the parliament continue on their voice against your wishes, against your will, the will of God, the will of a people. Vox Populi, Vox Dei, the voice of the people, is the voice of God. Therefore, they have denied your God. They have denied your line of authority. They have denied you as a people and treat you as prisoners and wards of the state who have no say at law. They believe they can nanny you out of existence because of your failures to recognise what's going on. And this is Anthony Albanese and the federal executive branches of government under a foreign crown, under a foreign oath, under a foreign realm, under foreign fathers, under foreign gods. Judges 2.12, you went whoring after the gods around you instead of standing in the lineage of your forefathers. Instead of standing up for who you are as the Commonwealth, you allowed a foreign executive branch power to manipulate and control you since 1967 without any the whys. Well, it's time to wake up because in the morning you will remember them. See the sunlight cresting over the horizon there? See my face going a little bit darker in the camera? Because the sun is now coming up and we are waking up and we are realising that Anthony Albanese works for powers outside of your Commonwealth. Anthony Albanese follows orders inside the Federal Executive Council on behalf of foreign military powers. The police operate for the United Nations. The police prosecutors are in the International Association of Prosecutors out of Hagstad in The Hague. It's very evident that the police are liars. And when you look at a second stabbing this morning, Anthony, I warned you yesterday that this would continue to occur. And now you have what? Immigrants, Islamists coming to attack our country because you brought them here. You brought them here. You, Anthony Albanese. You and your Federal Executive Council sought to undermine this country with 
immigration after 30 years of trying to stop the boats. Stop the boats. So in the morning, we will remember them. In the morning, we'll stand in their realm. In the morning, we'll be their executive. In the morning, we'll be their defenders of their faith. Defenders of their faith, Anthony Albanese. And when we look at your woke Governor General seeking to undermine this country further with pictures of Noel Pearson and her wearing the voice shirt, it shows that she is not independent. It shows that she is not defending the realm. She is operating for and on behalf of people that seek to undermine the son of the father, the son in us, the Commonwealth, you seek to undermine no longer. We stand in realm, we stand in Anzac, we stand in kingdom, we stand in stone, because in the morning we will remember them. Now, I can't do this by myself, so if you'd like to donate, that would help greatly. It helps us keep moving forward and it helps us rebuild the realm that we are so that we can speak for you, so that we can stand up for you, the people that got jibby jabbied, the people that got oppressed by the police, the people that got pushed around by a foreign government. We speak for you. So jump over to a t-shirt shop and buy a shirt or jump over to a bank account and deposit some cash. That helps us speak up continuously for you. I don't have another job. I don't do anything else but this. I've been doing this for over a decade now. And it's all been because of your support. I'd like you to share out some knowledge now and recognize that you aren't going to repeat what I've done. It is actually a crime to attempt to do so. Now the justices of this country are starting to realize they have an anchor at law at which to hold these people to account under the Criminal Code 1995, Volume 2, that defines all of their war crimes. So I'd like you to start pointing these crimes out to the people in charge.